Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this crochet mesh market bag. Okay, so for this bag, you're going to need a chunky yarn, maybe like a double knit or like a super chunky yarn. Cotton is usually best for mesh bags. It keeps them nice and strong. Um, I don't think that this is cotton. I think, I don't know what this yarn is. I feel like I say this in every video. I have no idea what brand this yarn is or what it is. I've never come across this kind of yarn or even if it isn't yarn, it might be like twine or something or rope. It has like a waxy kind of feel on the outside of it. It's a bit weird, but anyway, I just bought this at a charity shop um, because like it was a really good deal and <laughs> I don't know, uh, it was a bit different. So I'm not actually sure if this is yarn or if this, this is like twine or some sort of like craft rope. Um, any Anything like this though would probably still work. It's nice and strong. But if, you're, if, you're, if you don't have this and you want to use some sort of yarn, then I recommend like a cotton yarn or a super chunky or a chunky um, yarn um, that keeps it nice and strong. I'm also using a seven millimeter hook. You might also need a stitch marker and you might also need a needle just depending on whether you're going to weave in your ends at the end or um, and for the stitch marker if you like to kind of keep track of your rows um, but this is optional if you're a bit more experienced you might not need the stitch marker and you'll also need some scissors and if you're choosing to make a different size bag than I am today then you might also need some measuring tape just to measure out exactly how big you want the bag to be if you're making the exact same size as me today um, then you can just skip the measuring tape okay so this is what the bag is looking like um, so we're going to be starting off with the base of the bag which is just a few rows of half double crochet and then we will work on the height of the bag which is just a mesh stitch with a double crochet and then once we've finished that we will do like a row of half double crochet again around the edge and then we'll work on the straps okay so to start i'm going to grab my yarn and my hook and i'm going to make a slip knot and for the size that i want to make i'm going to be making a chain of 38 plus one for the turning chain um again you can adjust this if you're making a different size bag Once you have your chain, I'm going to then make a half double crochet into the back bump of the second chain. And then I'm going to make a half double crochet into the back bump of each chain across. Once you get to the end of your row, I've just done a half double crochet into the last back bump of the row. I'm going to add two more so there'll be three in total in that last stitch like that and then I'm going to turn around so I'm working now um, around this edge and I'm going to make one half double crochet into each stitch and that back when we were crocheting into that back bump it allows us to kind of have these stitches ready to go rather than trying to find the little loops um, and I'm also going to weave in this tail as I go along so it's just one half double crochet until you reach the last stitch and then once you reach the last stitch you're going to add another three um, half double crochets into that final stitch So I've just reached the last stitch of the round, so I'm going to make three half double crochets into that last stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to place my stitch marker here because that is the end of the round one, and this is just going to help visually mark um, the rest of the round. So once you continue doing your rounds and you reach a stitch marker and you make that stitch into that stitch marker um, area, you want to replace the stitch marker after you've done that stitch. Um, so for round two, it's literally just going to be one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around, and then I'll see one half double crochet in this stitch and then replace the stitch marker. So 
So once you finish round two, you're actually going to slip stitch into the next um, available stitch and you're going to replace your stitch marker in this spot. Okay, so we're now going to start round three. So we're going to make a double crochet into the same spot that we just slip stitched into. We are then going to chain one, we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then we just repeat this, so we're going to chain one, skip and double crochet into the next stitch. So it's basically all the way around, double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet, all the way around and then I will meet you back when we get to this stitch marker here. So I'm going to chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip, double crochet into the next. So I've just done um, one of the last double crochets of the round. So as you can see here, I've got a space here that I'm going to skip and then I'm going to make a double crochet into that last stitch. So I'm going to chain one, skip and double crochet into that last stitch. I'm going to replace the stitch marker here. And from now on, we're going to only be repeating round four until we reach the height of the bag. So from round four to round 19 is where I'm going to be repeating. Obviously, like I said in the previous clip, um, round, round three is the beginning of the mesh stitch and then from round four to 19 is where you'll be repeating um, round four. So for round four, we're going to start by chaining one and we're going to double crochet into the chain space. And then we just repeat this. So it's a double crochet, a chain one, and then double crochet into the next chain space. Chain one and double crochet into the next chain space. Chain one and double crochet into the next chain space. So I'm going to repeat this now all the way around. Once I reach the stitch marker, I'm literally just going to make the double crochet into the chain space, chain one and double crochet into the chain space. So we're not going actually into any physical stitches, just chain spaces from here to round 19. So I'm going to continue this and I will meet you back when I have reached round 19 and then we will start on round 20. Okay, so I've reached the end of row 19, I'm going to make my last double crochet. So I'm going to chain one and double crochet into that space. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to slip stitch into that chain. So not the chain space, but the actual chain. So I'll show you up close, actually into that chain. Like that. We're now going to do a row of half double crochet. So I'm going to take out the stitch marker. And I'm going to chain one and I'm going to start a new row so basically I'm going to make one half double crochet into each stitch and where I see a chain I'm going to make it into that chain I'm not going to make it in to the chain space like actually in the space I'm going to make it in the actual chain so I've just chained one I'm going to half double crochet in the exact same spot and I'm going to place my stitch marker here just so I can mark the beginning of the round and then I'm going to half double crochet into the double crochet and then I'm going to half double crochet into that chain and then half double crochet into the double crochet and half double crochet into the chain. So I'm going to repeat this now all the way around and then when I come back to the stitch marker, I will show you what the next step is. Okay, so I've just done the last half double crochet of the round 
and I'm now going to slip stitch back into where the stitch marker is, the, to the half double crochet that we just made uh, at the beginning. So slip stitch and then it's nice and neat and then I'm just going to chain one and cut the yarn. So this is what the bag is looking like now. You should have um, rows one, two, three of half double crochet, rows four to 19 of double crochet mesh stitch, and then a row of half double crochet at the top. So now we are going to work on the straps. To mark um, where your straps are gonna be, you're gonna take two stitch markers. So I've got two stitch markers here, and I don't really kind of do this by the exact measurement i just kind of look on either side of the bag and i place the stitch marker right in the middle of that side so the the, the leftmost stitch here i just place a stitch marker there and the rightmost stitch i just place, place a stitch marker there the strap starts um as a number of stitches and then it starts to decrease and then I stop decreasing and I just do rows and rows and rows of half double crochet and you're basically going to do rows and rows until you reach the top of your shoulder um, and that's important because you are going to do the same thing on the other side and so the, the strap should end on the top of your shoulder and then they join together and then this should sit like centrally on the top of your shoulder. So where you have your stitch marker Depending on whether you're right-handed or left-handed, obviously I'm left-handed, so I work from left to right. If you're right-handed, then you will be counting back right and then crocheting right to left opposite if you are left-handed. So from your stitch marker, you're going to count back um, as many stitches as you want. I'm going to count back about eight. So I'm going to um, start from the stitch marker and I'm going to count back eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the eighth stitch from the stitch marker and then where once you reach your stitch marker you're going to count another eight stitches to make it e even so with your slip knot you're going to attach the slip knot and pull through and chain one we're then going to do a half double crochet into this stitch And then we're going to do one half double crochet into each stitch until you reach the stitch marker. So I've reached the stitch marker and I'm now going to be crocheting another eight stitches um, along. So the rest of the bag strap up until the point where we continue doing the same amount of um, rows we're going to be doing an alternating decrease row and then a normal um, row of half double crochet so for the decrease row which is row two we're going to chain one turn the work and we are going to skip the first stitch entirely and half double crochet into the second stitch and that creates a decrease because you're skipping a stitch and it pulls um, the stitch in. We're now going to make a half double crochet into each stitch and we're going to stop once we reach um, the last two stitches. So I've just reached the last two stitches of the row. So to decrease on this stitch, we're going to skip the next stitch and half double crochet into the last stitch. Like that. Okay. So for the first row, you should have had 17 stitches. For the second row, you should now have 15 stitches because we did a decrease here and a decrease here. So um, yeah, 15, row two, it, you should end with 15 
uh, half double crochet stitches. For row three, we're just going to do a normal row of half double crochet. So I'm going to chain one, turn the work, and before we skipped the first stitch and did a half double crochet into the next, but we are going to do a normal row, so we're going to just half double crochet into that first and then into each stitch along. So no decreases for row three. Okay, so for row four, we're going to chain one, turn the work, and this is going to be a decrease row. So I'm going to skip the first stitch and half double crochet into the next. And then I'm going to make a half double crochet into each one until I get to the last two. I'm going to skip the second to last and I'm going to do a half double crochet in the last. Okay, skip that one and a half double crochet into the last stitch. Okay, so again we've decreased by two, so you should now have 13 stitches at the end of this row. I'm now going to continue alternating. Um, the next row will be a normal row, the row after that a decrease row, until I am left with nine stitches in my row. Okay, so I've just finished my last row. I now have nine stitches in the row. So from this point forward until I reach the top of my shoulder, I'm going to just be doing rows of half double crochet. Um, but if you obviously want a shorter strap or a longer strap, you just keep doing as many rows as you want. Um, and then once you have finished that, you want to fasten off and leave a long tail for sewing. Okay, so I've just finished the first bag strap. I ended up doing eight rows of half double crochet and then I fastened off. I've just left a long, long tail for sewing. And I'm now gonna repeat this on the other side. So you're just going to want to repeat all those steps um, before make your bag strap and then you can just fasten off as normal um, and you don't have to leave a long tail for sewing for your second um, bag strap um, because you've already got your tail for sewing here. So I will come back when I've finished this bag strap and then I will show you how to sew the straps together and then we'll finish. Okay, so I've just finished my other bag strap and now I'm going to show you how to join the straps together. So you've, you should have your long um, tail and I've just put my tail on the needle. So I'm going to be sewing um, from the back because then that way it's all nice and hidden. So I'm actually going to hold the straps together on the right side. So right side facing up and then I'm going to turn them, I'm going to flip them so that we can work um, the opposite side. Oh, sorry, underneath, not the opposite side. Now, I'm left-handed, so I'm going to have to kind of flip it this way now. <laughs> Obviously, if you're right-handed, you might not have to, to do this, but it's basically just twisting them. Um, and also, make sure that when you twist them back out, they are both on the right side and nothing's twisted. It's just so that you can work a bit easier underneath. So I've got my panels laying um, against each other and I'm just going to sew um, a couple times on the side just to kind of get that secure. Okay so I'm now going to be doing the mattress stitch and I'm going to be working in the inside loops so on this side it will be these loops and this side it will be these loops. So I'm going to start on this side and I'm going to just work through this first kind of loop here and this loop here I'm going to pull through like that. Once you get to the other side, you're going to go into the stitch next to it on the inside and the stitch above it like that and then pull through. And then you're basically just repeating that. So once you get to this side, you're going to go to the one next to it on the inside loop and the corresponding one below it like that and then pull through. And then again, the one next to it and the one above it and pull through. So I'm just gonna continue this all the way along and then I'm going to double knot at the end and then cut the yarn. I'm 
once I reach the end obviously as you can see even though the last stitches are here it's kind of a bit uneven so I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did to the other side where I just looped it around the edges a few times just to make that a bit more even so I'm just going to go into a side loop here and a side loop down here and pull through I'm just going to do that a couple of times as you can see it just makes it look a little bit more even okay as you can see that is nice and straight now so I'm just going to make a double knot now so I'm going to I'm still working on the uh, underneath I'm just gonna take the needle through a few loops like that and I'm gonna pull through and leave a loop right at the end like this and then I'm just gonna hook the needle through and then pull through and that should create a knot you can do this as many times as you want to make sure that it's secure I'm just gonna do it twice because this yarn is pretty pretty tough okay I'm just gonna pull that tight like that and then you can just cut cut the yarn nice and close and there is your mattress stitch and it's nice and neat on both sides as you can see so that is the bag all done I'm just going to take off these stitch markers and then I'll show you how it's looking Thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up and if you have any ideas of what you'd like me to make next feel free to leave them in the comments below and i will see you in the next one bye guys